the sun shines like a brilliant pearl, radiating endless light and heat, serving as the heart and ruler of the solar system. However, a seemingly absurd yet intriguing question arises. Can the sun be extinguished by water? The answer to this seemingly far-fetched question is unequivocal. Water cannot extinguish the sun. From a theoretical standpoint, even an enormous amount of water cannot achieve this. To further elucidate this point, let us delve into a hypothetical scenario. What would happen if 4,000 trillion tons of water were poured onto the sun? According to scientists' extensive exploration and precise calculations, the sun's mass is approximately 2 trillion tons. Thus, 4,000 trillion tons of water is nearly twice the mass of the sun. If we simply imagine the sun as a gigantic burning fireball, we might naively think that such a vast amount of water would be sufficient to extinguish it. However, the sun's energy generation mechanism is not the ordinary combustion process we know in daily life, but rather a complex and intense nuclear fusion reaction occurring within its core. This process is fundamentally different from common burning phenomena. Through persistent observation and in-depth research, scientists have determined that the sun's temperature is extraordinarily high, with its surface temperature reaching about 5,500 degrees Celsius. In such extreme heat, a small amount of water would instantly vaporize and disintegrate into hydrogen and oxygen atoms, eventually forming a high-temperature plasma around the sun. However, facing 4,000 trillion tons of water, the scenario changes dramatically. Although the sun releases enormous heat, it can only vaporize a small fraction of this colossal water mass. The majority of the water, under the influence of powerful gravity, would rapidly condense and form a water layer tens of thousands of kilometers thick around the sun. This sudden water layer would significantly lower the sun's surface temperature and block its radiation, making it appear extinguished from an external perspective. Yet, this is merely a superficial and temporary phenomenon. To deeply understand this occurrence, we must recognize that nuclear fusion reactions require extremely high temperatures, a condition met only within the sun's core due to gravitational contraction and heat accumulation. The new water layer would not lower the core temperature, but instead increase the sun's overall mass, intensifying gravitational contraction and generating more heat. This change would have two major impacts. First, areas outside the core fusion region would heat up enough to initiate fusion reactions, expanding the fusion region. Second, the fusion reaction rate is highly sensitive to temperature changes, so the overall fusion rate would dramatically increase. Consequently, the energy released from the sun's core fusion would soar, vaporizing the water layer and turning it into plasma, which would then break down into hydrogen and oxygen and integrate into the sun's composition. However, the immense energy barrier created by the sun's core fusion reactions would prevent these new hydrogen and oxygen atoms from entering the core region directly. Based on known stellar models, if the sun's mass suddenly increased by 4,000 trillion tons, the energy released by its internal nuclear fusion would increase approximately 70-fold. This immense surge of energy would quickly vaporize the initial water layer, turning it into plasma, which would then decompose into vast amounts of hydrogen and oxygen. These elements would integrate into the sun's material composition, becoming part of the new sun. Yet, the energy barrier from the core fusion reactions would effectively prevent the external material from intruding into the core reaction zone, meaning the newly added hydrogen and oxygen would not participate directly in the nuclear fusion process. This dramatic scenario underscores the sun's incredible resilience and the fundamental differences between nuclear fusion and ordinary combustion. While water can extinguish a conventional fire by cooling it and cutting off the oxygen supply, the sun's nuclear fusion process is governed by the principles of atomic physics 
and requires extreme conditions far beyond the reach of typical fire suppression methods. The sun's core, driven by gravitational contraction, maintains the high temperatures necessary for fusion reactions, a process impervious to external cooling attempts like water. Moreover, the increase in the sun's mass would lead to a series of cascading effects. As the mass of the sun increased, the gravitational force would become more intense, causing further compression of the core and raising its temperature even higher. This temperature increase would, in turn, accelerate the rate of nuclear fusion reactions, leading to an exponential increase in energy output. When the sun's mass increases significantly, its surface temperature will skyrocket, surpassing 10,000 degrees Celsius, and it will emit a dazzling blue-white light. At this juncture, it is crucial to highlight an essential rule in stellar evolution. The larger a star's mass, the faster it consumes its nuclear fuel, leading to a shorter lifespan. Consequently, if the sun's mass were to increase dramatically due to an influx of water, the new sun would have a markedly shorter lifespan. Experts predict that with a substantial increase in mass, the new sun could deplete its core fuel within tens of millions of years and transition into a red giant. Following this phase, the red giant's outer layers would be shed, forming a vast planetary nebula, while the remaining core would evolve into a white dwarf, marking the end of its relatively brief yet intense life cycle. Pouring 4,000 trillion tonnes of water onto the sun wouldn't extinguish it. Instead, it would trigger a series of complex and violent changes, eventually transforming the sun into a larger, hotter, brighter, but shorter-lived star. If we extend this thought experiment further, assuming an even larger volume of water is added, the sun's mass could increase to over eight times its original mass, resulting in extraordinary and extreme changes. Under such rare conditions, the new sun might undergo a core collapse supernova at the end of its life, one of the universe's most spectacular and violent events releasing immense energy and light that could illuminate an entire galaxy and profoundly impact the surrounding space. Examining the interaction between the sun and rainwater from multiple dimensions and perspectives reveals deep scientific truths and their significance in understanding cosmic processes. From the viewpoint of matter and energy interactions, this scenario illustrates the dramatic transformations and energy releases that occur under extreme conditions. Water molecules, subjected to the sun's intense heat and pressure, would undergo a series of transformations from stable structures to decomposition, vaporization and ionization. This process highlights the fragility and variability of matter under powerful energy impacts and underscores the dominant role of energy in determining the state of matter and stellar evolution. Analyzing this hypothetical scenario provides a unique window into the life cycles and evolutionary paths of stars. Traditionally, stellar evolution is seen as a gradual process influenced by factors like initial mass, chemical composition, and internal physical processes. However, the addition of a massive amount of water would drastically alter a star's mass and internal structure, leading to significant changes in its evolutionary rhythm and final outcome. This underscores the importance of considering external factors and potential disruptions in stellar evolution studies. On a broader scale, the interaction between the sun and rainwater and the potential outcomes, such as the red giant phase, and the formation of a white dwarf play an active role in the cosmic cycle of matter and energy. The release and redistribution of matter and energy are crucial for the formation and development of galaxies, new stars and planets. By studying such phenomena, we can better understand the principles of matter and energy conservation and transformation in the universe and how they shape the celestial structures we observe. Approaching the question of whether the sun can be extinguished by water with rigorous research and theoretical analysis demonstrates the unending quest for knowledge and the innovative thinking in science. 
scientific research encourages us to propose novel hypotheses and explore them through precise calculations, observations and theoretical exploration, revealing the underlying principles and patterns of phenomena. This approach can lead to breakthroughs and advancements in our understanding of the universe. In future scientific explorations, advancements in observational techniques and theoretical models will deepen our understanding of the Sun and other celestial bodies, enabling more accurate and comprehensive descriptions and explanations of complex phenomena like the interaction between the Sun and water. These pioneering studies will provide a solid foundation for exploring the universe's mysteries, searching for extraterrestrial life and understanding the origin and future of the cosmos. Returning to the core theme of the sun and rainwater interaction, we can explore its potential applications and implications in other scientific fields. For example, in energy research, understanding and controlling nuclear fusion reactions is key to achieving clean energy. The sun's natural fusion process offers a unique experimental model and studying the fusion reactions during the sun-water interaction may inspire new techniques and breakthroughs in controlled fusion, contributing to solving the global energy crisis. In planetary science and the search for extraterrestrial life, understanding water's existence and interactions on different celestial bodies is crucial for assessing planetary habitability and the potential for life. If similar interactions occur in other distant star systems, they could significantly impact the formation and evolution of surrounding planets and the conditions necessary for life. These questions merit further investigation and research. In cosmology and the study of large-scale structures, stellar evolution and matter distribution are closely linked to the universe's overall structure and evolution. The sun-water interaction and resulting changes in the sun's mass and energy could influence its position and role within the galaxy, affecting gravitational fields and matter flows, thereby impacting galaxy formation and development. By studying the connection between microscopic processes and macroscopic phenomena, we can gain a more comprehensive understanding of the universe's large-scale structure and evolution, laying the groundwork for more accurate cosmological theories. Thus, the question of whether the sun can be extinguished by water, though seemingly simple and unusual, encompasses rich scientific knowledge and profound philosophical insights. Through thorough scientific research and analysis, we can gain deeper and more precise understanding of stellar characteristics and inspire curiosity and a relentless pursuit of the unknown in the universe. Every seemingly unbelievable question can become a key to unlocking new scientific fields and discoveries, expanding human knowledge and understanding of the cosmos.